everybody, it's Lori from Paracord Planet. Today's tutorial is on the two colored snake knot bracelet without a buckle. For this, you will just need a scissors, lighter, and two different colored of uh, paracord. And I have here 550 paracord. So the first thing you'll want to do is have it welded if you don't already. Make a loop. Um, with your paracord and this will be where your um, where your bracelet comes together so I'm gonna add my bracelet with a diamond knot so this will be big enough for that so first thing that you'll do is take your cord on the right and make a loop over the base cord just like that take this now flip it behind and now, so the loop that you just made will be on the left side. Then you'll take the other cord, so the cord that is on the left, and you'll go behind the cord on the right, and up through the loop. And pull that. So this is a loose version but you should have at this point. And then you'll just pull those tight. Okay, so there is the first knot. Now again, you will start with your cord on the right. Loop it over the cord on the left. Take it behind so that now the loop is over here on the left side. Take your cord on the left and you'll go behind your cord on the right and down through the loop. And then pull those tight. Now, one great thing about the snake knot is that you can reposition them very easily. You'll just loosen it up and kind of wiggle it around if something doesn't seem to be lining up the way that you want it to. So, take cord on the right. Go behind. So that's your loop now. Take your cord on the left. behind and down through the loop. And push it up towards your other knots. Okay, so let's do one more. So you are gonna always start with the cord on the right. So make a backwards four. Just for quickness sake, make a quick backwards four. Flip it over. So now the loop is on the left. Take your cord on the left and go down through the loop. You of course do not have to make this initial first loop on this side if that helps you. It helps me just to know which cord I'm using and to be able to flip the loop properly. This is just how I always start it because then you can just quickly bring it behind and go back like that. But that's certainly a little small step that can be skipped. Okay, so 
This is what I have going on my two color snake knot bracelet so far. So I'm gonna meet you guys when our bracelet is towards the end. Um, you'll probably want about an inch, maybe an inch and a half left at the end because we will do a diamond knot or whatever knot you would want to to finish your bracelet off. This is what I have going at this point. Still have the loop with my snake knot and now I'm going to end my bracelet with a diamond knot. So to do that, put one cord um, on each side of two or three fingers. Take your bottom cord on the right here. Make a loop like so. Take your other cord and go behind the cord that you just made the loop with. You're gonna go over the blue one, under, its, under itself, and then over the other end of the blue one. So you have this nice diamond shape just like that. So then you'll take your cord on the bottom here, go on top of this cord right here, and up through the diamond in the middle there. Then you'll take your other cord right here, go behind the other loose one, and then up through the diamond in the middle, and then gently pull. Now here you have the base shape of your diamond. It's usually pretty rough at this point, which it is, I have a couple bigger loops right there. And it's pretty far down. That's one of the great things about the diamond knot is then you just kind of loosen one cord and keep going all the way around and move it up to the spot that you want it and then do the other knot or the other cord. So now I have my diamond knot done and all I will do at this point is snip off the ends. Burn them and then flatten them with the side of my scissors or the smoothing tool. So there you have it, the two colored snake knot bracelet without a buckle. Thank you so much for watching this video today, I hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Hi everybody, it's Lori from Paracord Planet. Thank you so much for watching our video today. If you liked it, please click the like button below and subscribe to our channel right up here so you can get instant notifications of when we upload videos, tutorials, and product spotlights. Thank you so much for watching, until next time.